Hello and welcome to the potting shed. I'm just doing a little bit of preparation for my video. And you might think with the whole range of plants that we grow in our gardens that you need a massive glass house space or a greenhouse space uh, to grow and bring plants through. Well, it just isn't the case, folks, because I've got no greenhouse space here, but what I do have is a warm kitchen windowsill. And the subject of today's video is growing on windowsills. And we're going to look at that in two ways. Basically, if you're lucky, like me, to have a garden space where you can actually grow and move plants into, uh, but no glass house space, then you can grow on a kitchen windowsill and then move them outside. Or perhaps you've got no growing space at all and uh, you have got kitchen windowsills obviously to actually grow on. And what more could you want than actually producing ornamental plants you can be really proud of, as well as food that you can actually feed the family with, whether you've got space to move them into or whether you've just got a kitchen windowsill. So let's begin by looking at some technical equipment. And the first thing for you to look at is the propagation case. And it's quite a technical one actually. And this has got a rigid plastic bottom, a seed tray, and a, a clear plastic top. And it's got a vent in the top, look. So if it gets too hot in there for them, you can vent, open the vent, and it lets the heat out. And that humidity is out as well. But then if you need to raise the heat and humidity again, you can close it off. This forms a quite uh, part of a uh, pack, a growing pack, that we call a windowsill pack. And here it is. We'll put, them, put this with its other counterparts. And there's the windowsill pack, folks. And um, this might seem quite an expensive outlay to begin with, but the amount of plants we can actually produce with that pack is phenomenal. But if you want some cheaper alternatives, here they are. So you can actually buy these in fives, and uh, you know, this is just as good as the technical pack that I've just shown you, but the only thing you need to do is to uh, lower temperature and humidity, just raise and just wipe that uh, clear top out. But if you want the ultimate sustainable propagation case, how about this one? If you like mushrooms, how about your mushroom punnet or strawberry punnet? And when once we get to Wimbledon season, and then you pop the top back on top, and you've got an instant propagation case there. Now, if you've not got the clear top, a sandwich bag that you seal and some cling film would do just as good a job as the technical uh, windowsill pack that I showed you earlier. Now, there you go. That's all you need. There's your technical equipment, apart from a sunny windowsill. That's all you need. So we're going to start to look at the plants you can actually grow on your windowsills for you and your family and uh, how to germinate things through and get things moving. So first of all, the nation's favourite really is the tomato. And here you go, here's some tomato seedlings that I've had germinated. And I'm only growing enough for my family on my windowsill. And these really are at the point where they need to be pricked out. So we need to move these into individual pots. So we reduce the competition and give them the space to grow. So I've filled my pot with compost and effectively we pop a hole in the centre of the pot. And then we choose one of our seedlings, I'm going to take the outside one and do not grab the stem you'd literally need to grab what's called the cotyledons which are the seed leaves it's got its little roots on the end look and be very delicate with them and effectively there you go that's pricked out now and that's ready to grow away so there's the first couple of stages germinated seed all on a windowsill remember pricked out and then in two weeks time your tomato will look like this so two weeks growth and then in another couple of weeks, your tomato will look like that. So there are the stages, and this will get obviously a lot, lot bigger. Now, if you've got no room to move these outside into, because these are all still on the windowsill, then if you grow tumbelina tomatoes and cherry tomatoes, they'll go quite happily indoors for you. What more could you want than picking tomatoes in your in a city apartment for your family to munch on during lunchtime. So there you go, tomatoes. How easy is that? So why aren't you doing it, folks? Why aren't you out there growing your tomatoes on your sunny, sunny windowsills? Now we're going to move on to onions. Yeah, you can grow onions on your uh, your uh, windowsills. And here we go, we're going to grow them in uh, a butter tub. So literally, don't throw them away, recycle them, reuse them. And we're going to use onion sets. So onion sets are great. And for a pound you get about 50 of these. And pointed end is up and dull end is down. Okay. And all you do with these in your margarine tub is you pop your finger in. And you just want the point just above the compost. 
and there you go I'll do another one for you so you put that in pop that in there like that and then within three and a half weeks what you've got is this look that's three and a half weeks worth of growth now you've got a choice here folks you can still just keep harvesting the green growth and they're lovely and peppery or you can actually pull the bulb and get a spring onion like so I'm going to delve down here and actually pull one of these out for you and just show you we remove the sheath and you get this lovely lovely spring onion there it is the end of the day and there you go you can eat the onion uh, like a spring onion and the more bulbs you leave in there the bigger they will actually get and the bigger the flavour will actually be. So now you've got tomatoes and onions and you can grow those on your kitchen windowsill or you can actually have those on the kitchen counter. Now we're going to look at cut and come vegetables and effectively we're going to look at growing in a mushroom punnet and if you grow lettuce in there indoors quite happy to grow indoors even on the kitchen surface um, you know you'll grow your lettuce or I'm going to show you how to grow some nice and spicy salad leaves here these are lovely and savoury remember give them a flick make sure that the seeds drop to the bottom we don't want them going skywards and remember when you buy a packet of seeds 75 pence this packet was you only want to use them sparingly that's about all you're going to want don't forget to flick the packet over and once you've used them and we're just going to pop those on top and then put a quarter of an inch of compost on top of that water that in and then effectively within five to seven days we end up with this type of growth and these are in a pot which you could have on your kitchen windowsill now you can thin these out but effectively the more you actually cut these when once they've established and become mature the more they will actually come back and all the way through the summer you can have these on your kitchen windowsill um, and be picking salad leaves for your salads or you can put them on the dining table and just be picking uh, leaves uh, for your salads what more could you want than having a massive party where you've got your friends around and they can pick their own salad leaves ready for uh, uh, the head lunch I think that's a brilliant idea why don't you have a go at that okay so now you've got salad leaves you've got tomatoes and you've got onions it's making me feel really really hungry this um, I'm going to show you something to do as a technical challenge for you and the children and you'll only need one seed for this and my lunch uh, included a nice little cherry trifle at the end of the day so I've got my cherry trifle pack and I'm just going to fill that with some compost and get it nice and full okay and then we're going to sow some courgettes and these are called black beauty now courgettes for children are wonderful because the seeds are absolutely massive and they're a really unusual shape as well so if you have a look look these seeds have a pointed end and they have a blunt end and effectively we're going to sow these pointed end down now we need to sow them so that they are standing up in the compost and Again, you can grow these on your kitchen windowsill. You need to germinate them. They're not frost hardy, so you can't grow these directly outdoors unless the risk of frost is over and done with. You pop them in, put the compost over the top. And again, you can grow courgettes in pots inside really, really easily. And one courgette, perhaps two courgettes, will actually feed the family. Now, one other thing you can actually try is dwarf French beans and uh, here is my toilet roll and I've popped four little nicks in the bottom there turn them over and then we just fill that with compost I'm a real believer in toilet roll pots and remember with bigger seeds whether you're germinating these for outside or not then it's twice the depth of the actual seed we pop a hole in there and here's our bean seed and we just pop that in fill that with compost and again in 7 to 14 days ladies and gentlemen you end up with one of these look 
Now believe it or not, you can grow these on your kitchen windowsill indoors. You don't have to have these outside. And in a second we're going to go outside and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now my mom put this into its pot because it says mom on the pot. Okay, but look at the roots. In seven to ten days you've got a wonderful plant there. So we're just going to pop this back into its box and we're going to have a look outside and show you how to do something ornamental as well as grow food. So dwarf French beans are a wonderful crop for you to grow outside and they get to about 18 inches tall and they really are quite self-supporting. But if you've only got a kitchen windowsill and you've got, not got any other growing space then you can grow them in a nice trough. Okay, so um, and it can look quite ornamental. So all I've got here is I've got a trough and um, effectively I've got my dwarf French beans and exactly as we did with the toilet roll tube we're literally just going to poke four holes into the compost and then we're just going to drop the beans in there it doesn't matter which way around just pop them in and then just literally seal the compost over And we give that pot a really good water and then in three and a half weeks time the result of your labour is this and this is growing on my kitchen windowsill indoors folks it's even in flower and it's that simple it really really is that simple and in the next few weeks I'm going to be picking beans off this particular plant from my kitchen windowsill now I'm going to finish off with something that's really unusual for you to grow indoors and that's carrots. So if you want to grow some carrots then you probably can't grow the Bugs Bunny type but indoors on a kitchen windowsill you can grow what we call the digging stubby type and here we go this is a, a carrot that we're actually going to have a go at growing now and here's how to do it dead simple again shake the packet so the seeds drop to the bottom and then we're just going to put two drills in and literally you can draw your hand across quarter of an inch maximum okay and then we're going to take a little bit of seed out and here they are carrot seed quite fine and it's good to grow carrots in containers actually because you get away from all the soil problems and if you pick them and uh, put them above two feet you get away from the dreaded root fly because carrot root fly can't fly above two feet and I'm just doing this sparingly again look folks just down that drill this compost is a little bit sort of uh, fibrous actually so you don't want too many in there and then all you do is you just literally flick the compost over the top and you'll have carrots for you to actually feed your family in around about six to eight weeks time. So there you go, that's the range of things you can grow on your kitchen windowsill. So why not have a go at perhaps some tomatoes, how about some onions, what about some dwarf French beans and finally how about some carrots, try peppers, try a whole range of things, radishes, beetroot, they'll all love you for it okay so if you've got a space to actually grow in well done you're very very lucky but you don't need a greenhouse to germinate plants if you've got a sunny windowsill if you've not got a space to grow in but you've got a sunny windowsill whether it be kitchen windowsill or living room windowsill you now know that you can grow plants effectively so go on guys go and have a good go get out there and garden and i'll speak to you hopefully very very soon